Jubilee Evangelical Church Daily Devotion. I once was lost in darkest night, yet thought I knew the way, the sin that promised joy and life had led me to. scripture reading today, please read James chapter 5. James chapter 5 verses 1 to 6. Now listen, you rich people, 
weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Look, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves in the days of your slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you. Our first priority is God. No one can serve two masters, our Lord Jesus said. Our allegiance and first priority is God. When God is number one in our lives, then money serves us, not the other way around. The love of money is a cruel master because it drives people to all kinds of evil. Our Lord Jesus said, watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in abundance of possessions. When our hearts are captivated by money, we become selfish and lose sight of what is eternal. May the Lord help us be generous and use money as a means of blessing others. When we persevere in the truth and grow strong in the Lord, we see transformation that takes place in our hearts. We become more loving, more patient, more merciful, more just, more humble, and more joyful in trials. When we suffer for what is right, then we have a reward that will last because it is Christ who holds us fast. There are times when we experience pain in the past. We know God's comfort is vast. So no matter what life may cast, we can persevere as saints, ready to overcome each obstacle and trust in God's unfailing love. When we pray in faith, we trust and surrender to our Lord all our desires and submit to His will. The prayer for the suffering is to bring our frailty to the Lord and ask for His grace and mercy because the Lord knows what is best for us. In every difficult situation, we look to Christ for strength and refuge because there is no one else who can help us. May we pray in faith knowing that God is sovereign in all things, in good times and bad times. Shalom Jubilee. Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, help us to put you first in all things because when we trust in you with all our life, everything falls into its proper place. The money, the power, the fame, the trials, the worries, and the pain are temporary because you are eternal. All these things are passing away, but your word is forever. Lord, help us to walk in your ways, trusting that you are in control of our lives. In your name we pray. Amen.